please watch the entire video because there is a giveaway in this video. Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir Cat. It's been a long time since I have uploaded a video. That's because I was completely involved in a project. In my coming videos, I'll give you an idea about what that project is all about. In this video, I'm going to deal with an interesting topic. As all of us are aware, AutoCAD software can be learned in three different levels. In the first level, you learn two-dimensional drafting in which you create 2D drawings after learning drawing, editing and viewing commands. And in the second level, you make use of various 3D modeling commands to create 3D models of any real world or imaginary objects. Then you render those models to conduct a photorealistic presentation. In the third level, you learn the technique to customize AutoCAD software. What is meant by customization? AutoCAD software has got an open architecture. That means you can change the software to suit your requirements. You can replace the menus with your own menus. You can create commands which are custom made. Likewise, you can change the software to suit your requirement. For this, you have to learn some programming languages such as Visual Basic, AutoLisp, etc. In this video, I'm going to show you an interesting example of customization of AutoCAD. How many of you are aware that AutoCAD can be used to perform drills designing? But don't have any over expectations. I won't be teaching you how dress designing can be done in this short video, but I'll just take you through the process by which you can perform this using AutoCAD. But before we start off, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD to get useful project-based videos on AutoCAD software. And please don't forget to hit the bell icon to get updates on my future video uploads. So let's get started. In this procedure, the dress designer creates the drawings of various components of a dress such as sleeve, body, back, etc. using AutoCAD software. But this drawing is not created manually but it is created with the help of an AutoLisp program. And this program needs the various measurements of a customer as inputs to create the drawings. The program reads these measurements from a text data file and this data file can be created manually using the measurements taken from the customer. But over here, we are using an HTML interface to input the measurements. Here, we have a number of templates prepared, which can be some standard templates or it can be a template based on the measurement which is already taken from a customer. I can also edit values in the template of this HTML interface. After giving all proper measurements, I can save it. Now these measurements are getting saved in a text file in the proper order. Now I am going to execute the program. I have got a number of programs corresponding to each design. Each program is associated with the menu item. Here I am using the older version of AutoCAD, but in the new version you can link these programs to icons in the ribbon. Now I am going to execute the program by clicking on a particular dress model. The moment you click on the program, the drawings are instantly created. You can imagine the amount of time taken if you had created these drawings manually. By writing a program to automate this task, you have saved tremendous amount of time and effort. So when you click on this menu item, the AutoList program, which is already associated with this item, will get automatically loaded and executed. Now, I'm going to print these drawings in an A1 size plotter. Alternatively, you can make use of a cutting plotter. This plotter cuts the drawing and you will get various components of a dress as various cut pieces. I would like to just remind you that I have got another YouTube channel which deals with useful technological tips which will be beneficial in your day-to-day -day life. 
I have provided link at the description section of this video. Please do subscribe to it and support me. Thank you. But now I am taking the printout on a paper. So I have to cut it manually. This drawing is a component of a dress that is sleeve and it is cut manually using scissors. Likewise, rest of the components are also cut. Now the cut drawing of paper is kept on the top of fabric and the fabric is cut using this paper as reference. So that was just a custom made task that is implemented inside AutoCAD software using autoless programming. Likewise, you can extend the capability of AutoCAD to any levels by learning autoless programming. So I recommend everyone to learn this programming language. At the description section of this video, I have shared a PDF file which is ABCs of Autoless by George Omura. In fact, I have learned the basics of autoless programming using this book. So I have attached the PDF version of it at the description section. So all you have to do is just download this PDF file and start learning autoless programming. Wish you all the best. Please hit the like button of this video if you find this video informative. And once again, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel. Before I sign off from this video, I would like to tell you one information. That is, I offer 3D visualization course. It's a total package in which I teach a right from AutoCAD 2D which deals with two-dimensional drafting. Then I'll take you to 3D modeling, wherein you learn the technique to make 3D models of architectural objects. Then that model is taken to 3ds Max software, wherein you perform rendering. After rendering, the photorealistic output is taken to Adobe Photoshop software, wherein you perform photo editing and image processing. So once you complete the course, you will become a true professional and you will be in a position to make 3D architectural photo realistic images on your own. I am getting very good feedbacks from the course participants who have already done the course. And I would like to share with you one of such testimony and feedback which is given to me by one of my course participants who is working as a design visualizer. So let's see that. Hi, my name is Ranjit. I am currently working in Bahrain in a consultancy firm. My long time wish was to study 3D Max and was trying to learn the basics from internet like YouTube, Google. During the current situation of COVID, I was getting free, some free time to learn. Uh, one day I found Sabir Kart in YouTube, uh, which was clear and easy to understand. Then I found Sabir Sar number from his videos, which led me to join the course. Uh, actually the main advantages of this course is uh, that you can learn from anywhere at any time and I really appreciate Sabir sir who was always available to clear our doubts at any time. Huh? Initially he assigned 7 projects to practice uh, which itself bought my confidence and now I am able to do 3D Max for my office work as well. Uh, thank you sir. Thank you very much for helping me to achieve this. Uh, this dream and you can see this is my second project on my background
So what are you waiting for? All you have to do is just click on the link provided at the description section of this video and join my 3D visualization course. I have provided a special coupon code at the description section to get discount for this course. Now let's come to the giveaway. I'll be giving my 3D visualization course for 5 subscribers for free. For that you have to be a subscriber in the first place. Then you should post your feedback related with my YouTube channel Sabir CAD in video format. The duration of the video should be maximum of 2 minutes. The best feedbacks will be shortlisted and the giveaways will be given to them. You have time till 31st of this month means 31st December 2020 and the winners will be announced by the first week of January 2021 and their feedbacks will be posted in Sabir CAD. So I wish the very best to all my subscribers.